So why is AP Physics 1 so difficult, right? How come only 8%, less than 8% of people are going to get a 5 on the AP exam? Whereas you look at like AP Calculus, like more like 20, 25% of students are going to score a 5, right? Why such the big disparity? Is physics ultimately harder than calculus? Not really, okay? So here's the thing. Physics... Like, like I talk about the previous one, and physics is really about the first time you've had to apply math in probably a meaningful way, right? Like even when you do AP calculus, half of the test is just sort of computing things, almost like your times table. It's like, take the derivative of this, do the integral of this. Can you do the mechanics of just straight up computation? And then like, you know, a portion of it is going to be like applying it, applying it into a scenario, taking a problem, breaking it apart. But in physics, every single problem is to dissect a problem into pieces. And you haven't had to do that before. You haven't had that cushion. Even in your toughest math classes, you haven't had to deal with that kind of that kind of rigor, that kind of like problem solving analysis you have to do that you have to do in physics. So that's one of the reasons. Probably the biggest reason, though, is it's not actually taught very well. <laughs> and let me explain what what I mean by that. And, and keep in mind that I don't think I was taught physics very well. So let me just tell you a little bit about my story, about the trajectory that it took me to go through physics. And it was not a easy, it was not an easy path, right? So 11th grade, so, so high school, biology, chemistry, physics, right? So ninth grade biology, 10th grade uh, chemistry, 11th grade, I take honors physics, okay? My first exposure into physics, pretty easy class, actually just understood some basic things. Then senior year, then I take AP Physics, right? By then, at that, that time, it was called AP Physics B, but it's the predecessor to what is now known as AP Physics 1, AP Physics 2. A lot of topics, a lot of things thrown at you. And, um, but, you know, I had some exposure to, you know, with honors physics, so I kind of knew some things already, but a lot of new things in there. And then I get to college, and I take another physics class. I redo physics because I didn't take a calculus-based physics class. I learned a more advanced physics class, and that one kicked my butt. It was an honors physics class at Berkeley. It was calculus based. Wow, it really, really, it really found it hard. But you know, like I had all those years beforehand to get to that point. And so, if you think about the way that it took me to get into that point, someone who is naturally good at strong, I had to take physics in high school. I had to take the AP physics class, and then I had to take physics. And the third time around hey, it finally sank in a little bit, right? Eventually, you got to learn something the third time around. For good or bad, what's 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 been happening more is that, that that honors physics, that physics class before AP physics has been dropped. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, but for, what, for a lot of reasons, it's like, okay, by junior year or 10th grade year, a lot more people are trying to take AP physics earlier. I actually think it's a good thing. But what's the problem is you don't have that background. You don't have that exposure. You don't have that that previous knowledge and also to take three years to learn one topic and or you know just mechanics and physics is, is like way too inefficient like that's like a lot of that's like too much to ask of anyone to be like hey you want to do physics take it for three years and then like you know you'll kind of get it right that's kind of a lot to ask for a lot of people is why it's a lot it just ends up being like so difficult for students it's just like look this is new I'm having to solve problems constantly. It's extremely difficult and I don't have any exposure to it. I don't have any practice. I don't have anything like that. What ends up happening is the way that, and the reason it takes so long, the reason it took me so long is the way that physics is taught is a lot of like, here are the concepts. Now go do a bunch of problems until you kind of get it, right? You just practice more. It's just like, oh, you don't get it. Just go practice some more. You don't get it. Do a few more problems. Then you'll get it, right? I've had other tutors who, you know, I've heard of, and they say like, look, you shouldn't be taking AP physics. You got to do a high school physics class, and then you're going to do AP physics class. Why? Why does physics, why is that a subject that requires two to three years of study for you to get it? It's not because it's harder. That's a bunch of crap. Like that, 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 that is not because it's harder. It's because the mechanism by which we train students in physics is really, really just inefficient. Okay. At, at its core, it's really, really slow to do that. And so what, what we want to do is find a way that it's a little bit faster, a little bit more efficient, rather than just say like, hey, go do a bunch of things. It would be the equivalent of me saying like, hey, you want to learn the piano? Go play the piano for 10,000 hours. And then you'd be like, oh, you're pretty good at the piano now. Sure, you get there. But like, you know, it's going to be a lot slower than if you have someone kind of be more explicit in teaching you things. 
And so what I like to do, what I've been focusing on is really just what are the skills you're supposed to be learning? And as we go through this series, that's what we're going to be focusing on is how to improve the efficiency of how you learn physics and not just by like doing more and more problems. Don't worry, there is a place for practice, but there has to be technique first, right? If you're going to be a great tennis player, you, you, you get you, you focus on the fundamentals, the technique, then you go practice those techniques. I don't just give you a racket and you just go swing away and figure it out, right? And that's kind of the way physics is honestly taught right now. That's kind of the way that I see most of my students. It's kind of the way that I went through it. It's just like, here's the idea. Now go do a bunch of really hard problems and eventually you'll kind of figure it out. Well, a lot of people don't figure it out. A lot of people don't do well. And a lot of people give up on that. And that's why I'm making this for you guys to, to help you understand that and to really find a better way. There's got to be a better way for you guys to learn something that is fundamentally not actually that difficult.